Welcome to State 9, a buying storage unit in every state across America. Right now we're in South Carolina and we just got my favorite unit of the series. There's a Sentry safe, there's a cash box with a combo code on it, and who knows what else. We paid 380 bucks for this one, let's start digging in it. Last time in Georgia we bought a cheap storage unit with a bunch of media in it, gave it to a subscriber to sell, and made even more money for St. Jude's. Let's see if this has weight to it. Oh yeah, that's definitely not empty. That's Okay, we're, we're gonna work on that a little bit later. Let's set this guy over here. Ah, there's nothing more that I love in a storage unit than breaking open a safe or a cash box. There's nothing to compared to it. What's in here? Net gear, that's a router. Let's see what kind it is. Does it have information on it? It has a serial number and everything on it. Look at the password it gives you. Silky Unicorn. That's so strange, but some of these are worth decent money, so we're gonna set this aside too. Let's get this thing out the way. You guys know what I wanna get to, all right? The little guy hanging right underneath that. This dude right here. Ugh. Oh yes. Definitely not empty, definitely not empty. You sit right here, right next to your buddy. And you guys will be ready to get broken into here very soon. Let's go to, what's in this dusty box here? Tacovas? Whoa, is that jewelry? Check this out. Who would have expected that to be in here? Looks like a bunch of bracelets, necklaces. Oh, God, don't you fall on me. Perfume, watch pieces. So this one, oh, there's a bit, watch, watch under here. What is it? That's a Geneva. I was to say Javana. <laughs> Geneva, so. Hey, this is a lot of good jewelry. This stuff is definitely cool. Definitely take it. Got a little metal table. Set this guy right over there. What is this? What, what are you? A uh, wax oh, yeah, melter? Yeah, candle melter or wax melter, yeah. Do they have other uses outside of candles? Or is it just candles? Uh, I mean, maybe for like beauty. Maybe. To me, it's a candle melter. <laughs> this guy, what is that? Solar generator? What the heck? Power your life? What? Yeti 150 solar generator. It's really heavy, so you know what? I bet you that's in there. Let's see. Open up. You come on. Oh yeah, look. That's definitely what that is. Is there a barcode on this? I've never heard of a solar generator. Do you see a barcode anywhere? Yeah, check them. Oh, right there. There it is. You know what? I think we should take the phone out and scan that because generators are usually expensive, but I've never seen solar generator that size. Let's see what eBay says. None. Nothing. Search it. Huh? Search it. Okay, let's see. Let's let, let's just search straight search the name. It's a Goal Zero <laughs> Solar Generator. Let's see what it says. Yeah, look at these. 145 bucks. There it is right now. This guy. 145 dollars pre -owned. You know what? That's not bad. Should I keep going or should we get to the bag and mix it up? What do you think? Um, bag. Let's put that ugh, up here on this nice table. It's a Bebe bag. When I hear Bebe, I think of the character from South Park because I'm in the show. <laughs> it might be brand new. You think so? Yeah. No. I mean, but it has this on it still, and this. Maybe, maybe it just left it, maybe it is new. I don't know. This is a bunch of cassettes for some reason. Uh, CDs, what? this is so random. And some beauty supplies, this is more jewelry. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at this bag. So a lot of jewelry in there we're gonna have to look through. And there's a random spatula. Let's look up here too, because there's a few compartments at the top of this bag. Is that just leading to that net right there? Does it? Yeah, but look, there's something you can get under this. Let's see what's in there. Nothing. So really a decent bag and more jewelry. What is this goal zero thing here? What are you? I have no idea. It's really like heavy. What are these switches? Does this open up into something? It's gotta open up, you would think, right? Yeah, I would assume it would open up. But it's not up, there it goes. What the heck, Goal Zero Escape 30? It's blinking, so I guess that means whatever it is works. Is this solar something? I don't have Google an idea. Well, I was gonna say Google no Goal idea. Zero Escape 30. We'll do that and hopefully that's something good. Into the first cardboard box of this unit. Get it up here. All right there, let's see what it is. All right, random. These are pictures. These are pictures. So we have two things of pictures. So we also got this right here. What's in there? That? Yeah, let's open it. Let's open it up. That looks fun. This is, whoa, a, mic. a nice microphone with a casing, a pop filter, and the actual microphone. Does it have a brand on it? It says that Behinger B1. Hopefully. Behinger. Shh, don't ask me to read stuff on <laughs> here. B1. So hopefully that one's a decent little mic. Hey, we're out here getting this money. 
Hey. 75, 90 cents just in a tote. You know what that means, right? Huh. 90 cents in a tote means 90,000 in a safe. Obviously, Ooh. the conversion always works like that. This tote, are these books or what are these? Beyond so. birthdays? What? I have no idea. Shape is cartridges? Cricket or what? cricket, whatever. Oh, they're like little design thingy. Oh, okay. And hey, this is for us. Paint. On the go. We always need these right here. So we're gonna keep these. And the other stuff, more likely, just donation. Let's see what's in these drawers. What the heck is that threat? Holy crap, well, how long does it go? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's still going. Look at this. There we go. Okay, wow. That is a lot of thread, I'm guessing. Let's pick one of these up, and uh, of course I picked the one up without the label. So that must mean these are all new, huh? Made in Germany, Madaria, is that what that says? Uh, M-A-D-E-I-R-A. -E uh, polyester, 1,000 M, so that. And if I counted right, if I go all the way back, it's five by 12, so 60 in each drawer. And there's multiple drawers that they're all full. Yep, check that out. There goes another whole set of them. And another one, these are all bright colors here. Ooh. Look at that, all of these. And I would say probably 80% of them look like they're still brand new with the plastic one on. So that's probably some serious money. If you know stuff about sewing, let us know what they think that's worth down in the comments. And do not forget that every single thing that we sell in these 10 state videos, the money's gonna go directly to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. We're also running that community effort, guys. So for every new like these state videos receive and every new subscriber we gain because of them, we're putting a penny in a pot for a massive donation at the end. We're still hoping to hit that $10,000 goal. This is the second to last state. So if you're gonna donate, you're gonna like, and you're gonna share, now is the time to do it. Back to the unit. So I turned the other one around here. Is that the same stuff? Look at that. Completely full. Completely full. And wow. Completely full. I have no idea what it's worth, but I would imagine that's probably a decent penny because there's several hundred things of thread between those two boxes. Here's the cardboard boxes underneath all that thread. I put it up here to make it easier on myself. And let's see what's in the box. Actual clothes, huh? But nice stuff. Look at this. Vigos. Leather jacket. What is that one? A Yoki outerwear collection? I wonder if these are like big brands. Because what I'm getting here, it looks like they had like a clothes business. Like a, maybe they fixed it up with the thread and sold it themselves. All this stuff is on like hangers like this. These are like store hangers. Most people don't have those in their closet. But yeah, this one's full of all clothes just like that. You know how I know the facility didn't go in this unit at all? Because what's right here, if they would have took a picture of this, I'm not going to show it yet. I guarantee you this unit price would have at least doubled if that would have been in the picture. But we'll get to that in a second. Let's see if this is more thread. It looks to be that way. This one is, but it's not exactly full as the other ones. But still, lots of thread in there. This one, definitely not that full. But still thread. Well, that one's completely empty. But still, we'll put this with the other one. Let's see what's in this one. Ugh. Right here. Still a piece of tape over here. Now we can rip it open and get an idea. It looks like the core stuff, huh? Or bathroom. There's like a bathroom rug, bathroom picture frame. These, are they actual glasses? No, nothing. Look in here. I see some jewelry hiding out in here. For the first time, I actually see jewelry in a bathroom box or a bathroom, yeah. Look at this. Ah, well, there went one watch, but we have a couple watches. We'll definitely put with the rest of the jewelry. Set it over here for now. What else is in here? What is this guy? It's all wrapped up to death. What does you want to protect that bad? A bathroom mat. This right here. Probably a shower curtain. What are these? Oh, these are speakers. Are they? Like a dehumidifier thing. Ah, I thought it was a speaker. <laughs> You're right. Car oil in the bathroom, I guess. I don't know why, but you know. That's where they put it. Curtain. And there's a box at the bottom. What is it? A little Logitech keyboard. Nice. Other than that, it's just very random stuff. Now let's see what's in this cardboard box right here that's kind of in the middle. Look at the little spider. Bye. <laughs> he went for a ride. What in the heck is in this? Oh my goodness. Is this like a troll from the, what you know, what's that? Texas? <laughs> They're trying to mess with us? So these are actually in there. A lot of these are brand new. Look at the brand. Loves me not. But, uh, eh. I mean, we can't legally sell alcohol and none of us drink, so what I call this box is garbage. Let's put this suitcase right here, up here as well, because I want to know what's in here and I want a nice table to see. So we're gonna set it right here. The brand on this guy says Duck Up D, D-U-K-A-P it looks like. All right. Never heard of it. But let's see if what's in here is anything. The zipper's not working. It's, <laughs> well, why does this happen so often? 
<laughs> this still has a tag on it. it has their name and number on that one so we can look the person up now over here zipper over here let's see if this one's brand new or what it is oh now here's some stuff all right open it up bag this looks like a lot of paperwork um what is this well what what do we have here let's see open up bag i'm just ripping it both ways i pulled it wasn't working i saw a wallet that's why i wanted to open it so we got a wallet right here it's got a few like personal cards and old pictures in it no money anything like that anything in the envelope no uh funeral service so this kind of stuff obviously we put in the give back pile business cards is that their company let's see this is a real original old school music business card and a radio personality business card <laughs> weird look at all this paper here just paper paper but there are some interesting looking pieces down here like this stuff right here let's see this one looks like it's cds but we're gonna check anyway because you can never be sure yep and a scratch off winner nope it's a loser they got number 14 and their numbers they unscratched were 12 13 15. sounds like the lottery <laughs> nothing in there this one right here let's see this is just a manual with a bunch of books and car stuff this guy here is yeah just more paperwork unfortunately look in this back corner what do you think this is a pool cue that would be my guess yes let's see if that's the case it is the case a really nice looking one now let's see if it's got a brand on it down here stratford a stratford pool cue in a very nice case so i'm gonna imagine I bet you that has a decent amount of value. How much? I have no idea. So we found hordes and hordes of thread, so it's only logical that I... Well, I was about to say, this has to be the sewing machine, but if it is, it's the lightest sewing machine on planet Earth because it feels empty. I thought for sure that's what that was going to be. No, this is empty, but I definitely think it's what it's supposed to be. But maybe it's in one of those boxes. When I was talking about the price of the unit, if they would have shown this right here, the price would have skyrocketed. This is Apple Mac all-in-one. I think this is just to cover the webcam. Yeah. They just put that glove there so the webcam can't see them. But these are expensive. You know how you can tell? If you look right there, it's an Apple logo. It means overpriced. But I guarantee you, when we look up the model on this sucker, I bet you this is close to the price of the unit, if not more, even if it's multiple years old. So this box right here and this box right here are both labeled consignment clothes. And if I open it up a little bit, they are all clothes on hangers. So again, this definitely points to the fact that they probably own like their own little clothing business consignment shop. So this is probably inventory for them. So now we have this big box that says shoes on it. So let's see what's in here. If they had a consignment business, I'm gonna assume that these shoes probably have some good value. Looks like it. Whoa, for sure. look at these on top. Those are some monsters. These aren't are they? some boots. These are demonia, is what I see on all the buckles. So I guess like demonia platform boots. I don't know. All right. Whoa. Look at all the boxes. <laughs> Here's some. Whoa, these are some risque boots right here. Uh, <laughs> let's see if there's any brand on these. I don't see, but uh, they're definitely, unfortunately, not real leather. Some people say stripper. I say WWE. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's another pair of boots. They look nice see, though too. Yeah, if I can get the zipper down. Oh, here's this one's open. Faux fur. I say fox. Tin U A. <laughs> uh, shoe dazzle. I've heard of that website. These all are right. all shoe dazzle boxes. Looks like a lot of them, doesn't it? Let's see if they're in there. Let's take out this one. Bam boots. Nice. Are there any prices on these boxes? Shoe dazzle. No. I don't see any price. All right. And this one, are they in there? Bam. Yeah. Brightly colored heels. Nice. These are Nine West. Bra this yeah. is a, has a Macy's label on it. Boom. There those are. Man, we gotta find a Play Doh. Yeah. That's like the best place for clothes for us right now to be able to like sell them easy. Yeah. And fast. Uh, that pair right there. Nice. And let's see. So far we have one, two, three, four, five, six pair. Gosh, here's, there's so many more in there. <laughs> here's seven. Wow. Here's eight. Dang, they're all in there too. They're all like in good condition too. Here's nine. Dang. And ten. Those are the only ones I've seen kind of dirty. And eleven. Nice, this is crazy. Three more boxes. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Not shoes. So That's I have some bathroom stuff, Q-tips, wipes. That kind of stuff so we'll put that over there apple something hey, apple 
wall charger? Looks Maybe like it goes it. to the computer. Maybe. I think I see another one in there too, so I'll definitely keep oh, them. Okay. Yeah, set those over there. So we had 11 shoes, 12 uh -oh. shoes, and last and final box. We have Open. 13. 13, 13 pairs. pairs of heels. Last few things in the unit are this big white thingy here. Ugh, I wonder what can be inside of here. Thank you. That was going to take forever. There's another one on this side. <laughs> I wonder. Look at that. Another whole board brand new. Brand new. Brand new. And there's one more over here. Look at that. Can you see it? Yep. Brand new. Brand new. And that's it. That one only has two drawers. So the amount of brand new like thread we have here is insane. Last box in the unit says storage glasses. Let's see if that's actually the case. I don't hear no rattling when I picked it up. And that's because everything's actually nicely wrapped up. Is there a brand on these? No. You're just generic off-brand dishes but it's a nice whole little set there for sure we're gonna be doing this with very limited tools today so you know what i have a hammer and we have this box i mean i'm gonna try to do it this way without having to smash it but i don't know if that's gonna work you might want to do it like near the lock if you can you can't get it in there it's too big but ah there we go get in there all right now let's try to pop it come on did that do anything a little bit huh it opened it up some for sure Go back in there again and do it again. I think it's breaking slowly but surely. Do it again. All right, now can we get in by the lock? And now we might be able to just hit it a couple times. Okay. What's it gonna hurt? There you go. Well, <laughs> easy work, huh? No. 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 Well, it was just the plastic. Thing. Just the plastic that was rattling around. So nothing inside of here, unfortunately. But that's okay. The real thing we're all wondering. I didn't think that was gonna keep falling. The real thing we're all wondering now is what's in this guy. Cause I definitely hear rattling in there. Yeah, that's that's something. All right, Ugh. you think the hammer will do the trick here? Try. Let's see. Come on, you. <laughs> Easy work. This is why you don't buy sentry safes. Jeez. What the heck? What is this? A so uh -oh. Very bad, very bad. They're in trouble. <laughs> And the tray, and these are what these the rolling papers. This was okay. I don't really know how the razors used with that, but we're gonna just leave all that in here because I don't know what else they were doing. This is the point we've gotten to now, or I'm just merchandise. And we're three and a half hours away from the flea market. I guess you know what? I might just become a purse by the end of all this. I don't know. So we actually had to ship some of our own stuff home in order to fit some of this stuff in the back. So we brought with us the Apple Mac computer, most of the shoes that were still in the boxes, and all of that thread. What I was seeing on eBay, they can go up for like eight or nine dollars per little thing, and we have hundreds of them. So that could be a lot of money, but we're gonna take all this stuff to the flea market and see what we can do with it. Talk about luck. This Apple Mac did not have a lock on it. No password needed. That was like dodging a bullet. As you can see, it's a pretty good computer. It's got 32 gigabytes of RAM installed, an i5 processor, a little older, mid 2010, but we were just playing around with it. It moves really fast. It's a really fast overall computer, but unfortunately it is Apple, so I don't think we're gonna keep it, but that's definitely gonna be worth some good money. Anyone in Virginia need a new Apple computer? We got a good deal for you, hit us up. It's now like 3.30 in the morning. We gotta get up at like literally 6.10 and do the flea market. So we're gonna go get a quick little power nap in, and then we'll see you guys in the morning. It is now 6.15 in the morning and we're heading to the flea market to sell all the stuff we have in the back of the car. We finished editing this video at about 3.15 and got it on YouTube a little after 4. So to say we're going on no sleep is an understatement of the year. Let's hope we can get a lot of this stuff sold though and make it all worth it and raise a bunch of money for St. Jude's. We are here at the Lumberton flea market, I guess is what we can call it. We have the thread out here for a dollar piece. We have Mile High Hustlers make an offer section right here. We have five dollars for shoes, whatever you want to pay for jewelry. We have some computer parts, records, and ten dollar bags. I gotta pull Garrett out of the car so he can watch our awesome flea market here. There you go, Garrett, front row seat. Is this for the pool stick? Yeah. So we'll do one, two, three. Two dollars. That's two dollars. How about three dollars for all that? I give you two. Those are vintage, but we since they are kind of discolored a little bit, we can. Yeah, do, I'm looking at. It. Yeah, we can do a dollar on um, everything there. So three, okay. three on our. Three dollars. Seven. 
Eight. There Five. we go. Y'all okay. killing me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, not killing you? I'm not coming back over here no more. <laughs> that's the wrong attitude. I know it's not. It's a good attitude because I don't. God is good. I love you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. For a quarter. If it makes you that happy, you can have it for a quarter. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. I got this gear here. You told me I could have a perfume. Yeah, I don't you know can have it. This is smell good for free. All right, what we got? Uh, how about like a dollar? Can we get... Wait, here's the style of the How about four? Okay. Okay. Ten and four. What do you right now? It's a camera. What do you do? It takes 30 pictures per second. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, here you go. Here's your change. Six. Five and six. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, can you do ten for all of them? I can do five. Yeah, that's fine, that's so fine. It, it goes to a good cost. I'll okay. take whatever I can. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. That's nice. Uh, five. Yes, I do. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A dollar. So. <laughs> You're going to be our best customer today. <laughs> you know what these are? You gave all my money away. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Fourteen? Yeah, I'll take that. You Thank go. you. A cheetah one. Okay. And these and um, um this color. Right this one? Here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, right there, new in the plastic. Thank you. I'm glad there you come go. back through. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, that's good stuff right there. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. This just turns to the best day of my life. That's the day of your life. <laughs> I'm recording you. You're on you're on camera. <laughs> Use your words wisely, bro. Like, subscribe. <laughs> there you there go. There yes. <laughs> Garrett's being played for the first time. Finally got this. It's a monumentous day for him. Thank you. See if we have a bag. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll give you a brand, brand new one. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Just made it myself. <laughs> Just a donation? Yep. All okay. right, cool. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Just Name pick a your number price. between zero and 40, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> How about just 20 for that? Good enough for me. Okay, we'll do that. There Thank you, you. Just so we can have a little going to St. Jude's, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank What'd you. What'd you buy? A bag. A bag? Yeah, no choice. And nice. 40, Thank you. 40 for two of our items. Oh, nice. That was amazing. Thank Donated. You. Right. So, red, red, red. Red. Bondage. Right there. And all the money's going to St. Jude's, so you're supporting a good cause too. Five, nine, nine, and ten. Thank you, sir. And here you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You. How much that right there? You got dollar. Get that. Get that. Yeah. A dollar. No, no that's yours, man. <laughs> he said no. Okay. I'm gonna get that and the, and, that, uh, and the watch. Right How much you Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. You. Wait, what'd you get? It's all for no, I was trying to give them, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's your work. So she gave another one? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we had on sale a gigantic case of thread spools. Not too many takers here at the flea market, but I took a picture, posted it on Facebook, and said, DM me if you need to know. Denise Jones from Powhatan, Virginia, who's an old friend, gave me a call, and she said, okay, how much for all of it? $300 for St. Jude's. Thanks, Denise. I appreciate it. Gregory's going to play Garrett on camera for us. And I had to support him with a dollar. This song kind of sounds like a, like a, some kind of ancient Egypt song. Okay. And I hope y'all like it. from Amber how to turn the money all the right direction. <laughs> OCD. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you so much. Have a good day. What do you got for me? Here's a dollar. Okay. What is this for? Just for St. Jude's? Cool. You have a Garrett hat? Yeah. Was that on purpose? Middle of the Oh, okay. Yeah. You have a channel? You have a yeah. channel or you just... Name of it's uh, Dig It and Done. Dig It and Done. I love yeah. it. Well, glad you could come. Oh, yeah. 
Then when I saw Lumberton pop up on the screen, I said, whoa, wait a minute. I want to donate this to St. Jude. What's cool. in it? Hundreds of pennies. Hundreds of pennies? Who's uh -huh. it for? St. Jude. All right, <laughs> this bump, man. Proud of you. Thank you, let me get your change. Is it the color you? we have left? Right, thank you. Thank you. So, oh, pocketbook one, two, salesman. Three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. That's a lot. Probably about. Uh, 15, like, <laughs> 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, oh, 17. Give me a deal. Yeah, I'm, I'll uh, throw a number at you because we're doing it for St. Jude's. So okay, I'll say 150. Hold that one second. I'll get you a 10. 140. Right. Yeah, thank you so much. We're selling it for school. It's a good cause. It's not yeah, a good price. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine with me. Thank you. After about four hours selling at the flea market, we sold nearly everything we had and made a crap ton of money for St. Jude. So we started to pack up and get ready to go. Flea market is finally over. We definitely did a lot better than we were expecting. We got rid of most of the stuff. Just want to say thank you to Mile High Hustlers for helping us out, telling us about the flea market, helping us sell everything. They even had a table on the side where they were giving their donations, which is awesome. So thank you guys so much for helping. And as always, thank you Connie and Dave for coming out and helping as well. After that flea market, we decided to go to this absolutely beautiful park and just spend some time in nature and just unwind. What is that, a tree snake? Yeah. I almost stepped on him. Well, no feet. Go no feet. I also wanted to mention that you guys probably saw all the heels on the table. They did not disappear. We did not sell them. We actually gave them to my high hustler so they can sell them and then they will donate the money to St. Jude's also. We were so happy that we could meet up with Treasure Hunting with Jeeves today. We had a lot of fun at the flea market and we raced a lot of money for St. Jude yep. Hospital. Right. Can I give you one more thing? Do you want Garrett? I'll Now for the big question, how much do we make at the flea market you ask? Well, this may not look big, that's because we changed in all the ones already, but $869 right here. The biggest donation of the entire series Yay. by far. $869 for this donation right here. And click, $886. Guys, this is the second last state. Next time is the grand finale. Don't forget, we're still trying to hit that $10,000 goal. So for every like these videos receive and every new subscriber gain from them is putting a penny in a pot for that massive donation at the end. We're close to the $10,000 goal, but we're not quite there yet. So if you want to donate below or beside the video, depending on what you're on, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time in the North Carolina storage unit. Welcome to the grand finale of buying a storage unit in every state across America. Got a little Louis Vuitton heat stamp on the outside. Uh, hey. Oh. oh, those are like new. Brand new.